Good morning, guys. I have my first rehearsal today. I am so nervous. I just feel like it's been so long since I've done ballet like this and like done a point part as well. It's just like terrifying. And partnering, like the last time I partnered, I don't know. Feel the fear and do it anyway, you know? Right now we're making a very nutritious breakfast. Ah! Anyway, we're making toast. So this doesn't look like the most appetizing thing on earth, but I have one toast with egg and one toast with almond butter. I think for the first rehearsal, I'm going to do a French twist. Just like that. This is a little messy. I'm gonna wear these little gold hoops. If you're not a dancer, you wouldn't know, but jet glue is basically something that just kind of hardens up your shoe, to make them last a little bit longer because basically a point shoe is like, paper mache and they die when you wear them a lot. Jet glue just kind of temporarily hardens them up a little bit. We're going now. Spraying the shit out of myself. My partner better think I smell good. Let's go. I have a YouTube channel, so I make like videos. Don't post anything better. Oh no. <laughs> I'll just post all your mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> the drama of the channel. My partner is so bad. <laughs> from my rehearsal now. I feel like it went okay. I can't really expect myself to like hop back into ballet and like especially partnering and point work that I haven't like really trained in every single day for the past like two years. I can't really expect myself to jump in and be like how I was or be in the shape that I was or like have the technique and everything that I did, which I think is a little bit hard for me. Um, I wish I had more preparation. Our studio never had guys, so I never did partnering. The only time I had partnering experience was at summer intensives. So I don't really have a lot of partnering experience. I don't know a lot of the things. I just get into my head a lot when it comes to partnering because I am such a person that loves do everything myself I hate giving other people control teamwork I don't do that I love doing everything by myself and I love putting pressure on myself so when it came to like snow queen or something all the pressure to be good at that part was on my myself because I didn't have a partner like one thing that's off that the partner does controlling me or like forgets or whatever that it makes me look bad, if that makes sense. So partnering's not my thing. I'm trying to get more used to it and put more trust. I always get into my head, I'm like, oh, well we can't do this one lift or he can't hold me so it means I'm overweight or like I'm fat for ballet dancer. And of course, those are just like my bad ballet, body dysmorphia things coming into play um, that I'm now more aware of than when I was back in the day, as we all know. I'm trying my hardest. Tomorrow I have another rehearsal and I'm hoping that one goes a little bit better. 
I think I'm just putting a lot of pressure on the whole thing because it's my first performance back and I expect like everyone to be judging me and I sent the video to my friend Kara from rehearsal because I was upset. Oh, it's terrible and I'm terrible. And I sent the video and she's like, what? Like you had one rehearsal? It looks so good. And Kara's in a professional company, so. And I'm just like trying to make sure that those old thoughts don't come into play, so. We are working hard together and we're approaching this Nutcracker in a different headspace than we did in the past. The biggest thing I'm working on is knowing my worth and being confident in myself. I think my self-worth has just like plummeted this year. So working that up, I will see you at tomorrow's rehearsal. <laughs> Okay guys, cause I'm having such a tough time lately, I booked myself a sound bath. Always wanted to do one, I've never done it. I've been really into finding more like spiritual, homeopathic, like good for me ways to release and I think this is gonna be really, really good for me. It's in this beautiful like dome in Malibu and we're doing it at sunset. Coming back into this experience and like doing Nutcracker again, I have to try and find, you know how like athletes do pre-physical therapy as in like preventative care. I feel like because you know, the last time I did Nutcracker, I had such a tough time and like made it negative in a way. I wanna make this a really positive experience. So I'm like really taking care of my every single step so that I don't end up the way I was. Kirsha's the best, she's a really good friend of mine, and she has such a special place, and she's so amazing. I feel genuinely so much better. I was telling them earlier that I was stressing about ballet and all this nutcracker stuff coming up, and I'm so happy I got to like relax. Yeah, you needed it. You guys have to check it out. I'm linking everything below. Look, she gave me this cute water bottle. Thank you so much. This is so special. Oh, I will be back. Very sad. Okay, so it's been a couple weeks since this first rehearsal. It's going really well. I think I was just really down on myself at the beginning, but I've been training. We're having a little bit of issues with this turn right here. Really nervous about it, but I think it's gonna be fine. I'm going from passe into coupe and I get more momentum and then I have to go up into this leg. I think that's the only thing kind of psyching me out right now, but other than that, everything's going really good and I'm really excited for the show and proud of myself for looking at this with a positive mindset. My next video will be my costume fitting and dress rehearsal, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will see you next week. Bye!